Good day to all my loyal subjects out there. This is uh, King Bob from King Bob's Kingdom. And today I'm going to do a little bit of a demonstration of why I don't use DLSS in Flight Sim. I don't like it because it makes blurry textures. And I will show you what I mean compared to TAA. So, uh, we're sitting in the Phoenix, a KTTN, which is Trenton, the 319. Uh, right now, we're running TAA, and you can see up here, it's using the latest, greatest version of it, the DLL uh, G file, which is a 310.2.0, I believe. Uh, use DLSS Swapper to make that work or to uh, have that in the in the uh, in the sim itself this is a flight sim 2024 by the way yes I know it's a hot mess but uh, not for me so but anyways I'm gonna show you why I prefer TAA to DLSS uh, the DLSS will be the quality you'll see me swap in and out and what I want everybody to pay attention to is the altitude tape right here. So right now TAAA, let's get this plane in the air. And off we go. We'll do toga, because why not? V1 and rotate. Positive rate gear can come up. So once I get the plane settled, uh, I'll demonstrate. Get that plane under above the uh, S speed so we can retract the flaps and disarm the spoilers. Levelers can go back to climb. Disregard that. Okay, spoilers off. Flaps retracted. going to do an opportunistic climb. Watch the speed tape as we climb. I'm going to force it up to 3,000 feet a minute also. Okay, we're going to start once we get up to 4,000 feet here. Actually, we'll set that back down to 2,500. It looks like it's having issues uh, trying to climb any higher than that. So at 4,000 feet, just keep an eye on the speed tape. So this is with TAAA, frame gen, 128 some odd 125, 128 frames a second, uh, frame gen using the latest greatest. Looks pretty clear. Now watch what happens when I swap that over to quality DLSS. So we're using DLSS, the latest version of it, with the latest preset, which is K, DLSS version 4. We're also using the latest NVIDIA driver, uh, 572.16. Um, this is supposed to be the greatest or the best for DLSS. Now, it may work in some games, but 
as you can see take a look take a look at the altitude indicator that's very blurry to me oh we're just gonna let this go up now yes we have gained frames that makes perfect sense since using DLSS quality we're not running at uh, your native resolution you're running at a lower version I think it's like 66 percent of what your native resolution is sure the frames are higher but this I don't know that bugs me I don't like it so for comparison's sake let's go back to TAAA take a look at the uh, altitude right here the altitude tape and we lost frames back over to TAAA frame gen but look at that it's so much clearer I mean to me I'll sacrifice the frame since I'm getting high frames anyways for a much better picture quality uh, in my opinion now this is different when you use like a GA aircraft that doesn't have glass cockpit like C-152 the W sim which is excellent by the way um, if you're using the uh, old steam gauges you won't notice this and so that would be a great uh, use case for DLSS but in my opinion and my opinion means nothing in a grand scheme of things it's not really usable in glass cockpits at least on the Phoenix um, it's improved go back to DLSS just to show you again DLSS quality I don't know to me yeah I don't think so I don't like the way that looks yeah we do have more frames but that is because we're running at uh, my native resolution is 3440 by 1440 with the quality I'm running at 2293 by 960 which makes sense I'm going to get more frames lower resolution more frames but I don't like this uh, this has come a long way this K preset with DLSS 4 this used to be way blurrier but to me that that's not crystal clear I know there's other videos out there that say it is crystal clear or at least clearer which it may be but in my use case that's unacceptable and that's really all I had to say today so one more time this is DLSS take a look at the uh, altitude tape there about 154 frames a second Let's swap it back to TAAA lost about 20 20 frames 25 24 frames something like that but this is so much better I'm sorry it just is so uh, in my personal opinion use TAAA especially when you're flying to Phoenix or anything with a glass cockpit um, it's pretty much all on that so um, this is King Bob again from King Bob's Kingdom if you like this video uh, throw me a like Maybe subscribe, and um, I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody.